The movie Quarantine, 2008, begins with a beautiful reporter named Angela Vidal and her cameraman Scott. They are assigned by their boss to cover the activities of firefighters. Upon visiting the fire station, they document the daily routines of the firefighters, assisted by two firemen named Jake and Fletcher. Jake and Fletcher explain the activities they are doing. In the middle of the night, they receive an emergency call from an apartment building and head there, not forgetting Angela and Scott to record the events. At the scene, they rush inside where they encounter a woman disturbed by a noisy neighbor. The case is immediately handled by two police officers, Danny and James, along with firefighters Jake and Fletcher. The noise comes from the apartment of an elderly woman named Mrs. Espinosa. They observe her behaving strangely, unaware that she has been infected with a rabies-like virus. Suddenly, Mrs. Espinosa attacks one of the police officers, biting his neck and injuring him. This causes all the apartment residents to head downstairs, except for Fletcher, who stays upstairs to monitor Mrs. Espinosa. However, he is attacked and pushed off the balcony, falling to the ground, causing panic among the occupants who then leave the building. While Jack checks on Fletcher, who has fallen, he finds him still alive but with broken bones and bite marks. Finally, they shoot Mrs. Espinosa, who has been infected with the rabies virus. Then Danny gathers all the apartment residents and begins checking each unit. The situation escalates as the residents, locked from the outside and quarantined, realize they cannot leave. The local police cut off the electricity and internet access, causing the residents to scream for help and become agitated. A veterinarian named Lawrence, who also lives in the building, examines James and Fletcher, who have been infected with the virus. He identifies it as a rabies virus, but is puzzled by its rapid spread among humans. Then, while Lawrence is checking, Danny is informed that a disease management officer will be sent to the location. While waiting for disease control officers to arrive and take samples of the infected, Angela takes the opportunity to interview the residents, starting with a little girl named Brianna and her mother, Kathy. Brianna has bronchitis, and her father is out getting medicine for her and their dog. Angela also interviews Bernard, an opera teacher, and his student, Sadie. During the interview, Fletcher emerges and attempts to attack the residents, causing chaos. Because of that, Jack, Danny, and Lawrence work to secure the situation by returning Fletcher to his original place. After a long wait, the disease control officers arrive and are directed to the room containing the infected residents. During the handling of the victims, Angela and Scott are not allowed to enter and cover the activities. But Scott manages to record the incident through the window capturing one of the officers being bitten by a victim, prompting everyone to run out and lock the officer inside. One of the officers tries to escape from the building. Fortunately, Jack and Angela stop another officer trying to flee the building and inquire about what's happening. The officer explains that a man brought his sick dog to the vet and the sick dog infected other animals in the clinic. It's discovered that the dog came from their building identified by a leash around its neck. This is why the building is quarantined, to prevent the residents from spreading the virus outside. Brianna, one of the residents who has a dog, is secured by Jack and the others because she has a fever. They want to take a sample from Brianna, but Kathy insists her daughter only has a fever. Suddenly, Brianna bites her mother and runs away. Kathy is handcuffed, and Danny and Jack chase Brianna upstairs followed by Angela and her crew. When they find Brianna, they attempt to inject her with medication provided by the disease control officers. But Brianna attacks Danny, and Danny tells everyone to run and hide. As Jack, Angela, and Scott run, other residents start to realize that the infected victims below are attacking. They find a narrow room to hide in and check each other for bites, confirming none of them are bitten. Suddenly, they hear a noise from next door and discover an infected officer. Jack subdues the officer and finds bite marks on him. They lock the officer in the room, and when they return, they find Sadie covered in blood. 
Bernard attempts to open a window and is shot by snipers outside the building. Yuri informs them that there is an escape route through the underground pipes, but they need a key from his room to access it. As Yuri reveals this, he is attacked by an infected resident. Now only Jack, Angela, and Scott remain. They rush to get the key from Yuri's room. Jack tells Angela to calm down so they can escape and pass the infected residents. After obtaining the key, they run towards the lower floors, but they are attacked. Jack sacrifices himself for Angela's safety, and Angela and Scott find themselves unable to descend further, ending up in a dark and narrow room. Using the light from the camera, they discover that the room is the source of the rabies virus outbreak. Filled with evidence such as newspapers, recordings, and tapes, these revealed that a man from Boston stole the Armageddon virus from a military biology facility, which is the cause of the current crisis. As they search for an exit, they hear noises from a hidden attic space. Scott uses his camera to investigate, and they encounter a creature, a result of the experiments, a thin man with a strange appearance. The creature descends from the attic and roams around them. Angela and Scott try to quietly leave the dark room without alerting the creature, but Angela accidentally makes a noise, attracting the creature's attention. It attacks Scott and shortly after it turns on Angela, who screams. Tragically, Angela is consumed alive by the creature, and the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video. Two.